don't play with monsters, nor do you let them terrorize you. Sea battles never decide who's right, only yeah, who's I left. I've been given no quarter by this loose cannon on deck, the Pacific Ocean. The, uh, edge of that low pressure, that monster low. Like, uh, I was talking about... I'm awake and aware, mate. This is no it's nightmare. It's fucking real. Time. Quickly, all that I've learned from my Dude, time in Gloucester, gone. Massachusetts with Sebastian Junger, okay, author of The so. Perfect Storm, plus my encounters with prior storms so on various fresh. vessels, including a Category but, uh, 4 hurricane I escaped, lost. is front and center in my mind. It's a 4D spiraling chess match, and George Clooney is not here. I'm swearing no oaths others may make only to break once back on land. I'm offering no prayers to a god of religion, superstitions, or nonsensical fears. This is the ocean I have often saluted and claimed as my sanctuary and refuge. The adrenaline rush is more like an emotional flash flood from which I've already moved to higher ground. Fear is a manifestation or ghost of the same emotional rush I choose to experience and channel as courage and exhilaration to deal with a daunting challenge. I already know before this is over, I'll feel like Mike Tyson and Muhammad Ali have unleashed a fury of blows on me. These monsters are birthed by a slight kink disturbance in the winds and barometric pressure excited by the jet stream above. To a navigator north of the equator, we first see an ill wind as it backs counter clockwise across the compass. It's the first distant touch of a low pressure system going into a cyclonic spin hundreds or thousands of miles away. The mackerel sky the night prior, along with the snowy white owls visit tell the tale. The weather forecaster storm track projections are wrong. The monster is not going to Canada. It is running south to me down the west coast to California. It is a kink on wild in the ultimate wilderness. The mare's tails, called the mackerel sky or fish scales for folklore, makes a lofty or tall ship carry low sails or reef such in. The high, Cirrocumulus clouds formed by shifting wind directions and high speed winds are the telltales of an approaching storm system. Birds of prey are often trapped in the eye of a storm, searching for a way out on the weak backside. Others ride the uncanny winds far away from their natural habitat, perhaps motivated by their own adventuresome nature. All night the light winds backed across the compass from north to the southwest. Sailing direct to the eye minimizes time and the storm energy. Understanding a storm is to begin to know the winds and seas of the planet. This is the breath of life. A mature storm is the most powerful event on this planet. Unleashing each day the equivalent of the nuclear arsenals of the U.S. and Russia. If the energy could be harnessed during this storm's duration, all the electric power needs of humanity would be met for six months. Wave heights trail wind speeds. It can take up to three days for storm waves to fully develop. That's the good news. The amount of wave energy rises exponentially to the fourth power. Seas from 40 knot winds are 17 times more violent than 20 knot winds.
stuff is tossed to and fro. It's just about up to full gale blowing. Got the jury rig some stuff to get a weather fact, but look at the submarine. Maybe we can see some fish. Finding humor in anything is a good thing. Being goofy and playful in the arms of a monster is better than being haunted. The ocean god goddess in a storm is simply doing what it does. I was the one who dared to live in it and on it. Finally, a superstition of my soul is excommunicated. We are one big happy family, well, kind of. It's getting wet when it's cold. I love it when it's warm. I hate wearing clothes too, but finally... The mainsail suffers a tear. Items need to be secured. Routine checks and repairs continue to be made. There is so much to keep up with, especially under sail and power. It's a lady, Alani Aloha, that needs tending, but in return, she keeps me cradled and able to carry on. We will live to see another day. The monster has reminded me of how alive I am. You can see the eye, Storm. You can see the eye over there. Hopefully, we are now just getting on the side of the eye. Day after. Tropical spit. Not tropical. Freaking cold weather storm. Finally made it out of the uh, Four hours ago. Once again, dolphins came to the cockpit. A little bit wiped out, but it's still working. Land all over the place. All we have now is leftover, nice, gentle rolling, 10 to 15 foot swells, and beautiful dolphins. How quickly the storm clouds vanished, leaving a heaped up rolling sea with those ever faithful, fun, frolicking friends, dolphins. They splashed about outside the cockpit till I woke up to join them once again on the bow for their totally free and wild SeaWorld show.